5000 gets delete the so good i think this one has that size the screen size is actually same but yeah this has got my dad is watching my videos oh, A lot of you people have asked me why did I name my bike the dark horse. It's pretty simple guys. This is a black color. It's a dark color. So it's dark and horse because let me show you. Did you see the way I got onto the bike? Yeah, you have to get onto the bike like that. It kind of feels like you're getting onto a horse. Also because the bike is tall and kind of looks like a horse to me. Okay, before I answer your other questions, let me quickly go and get the number plate fixed on this. Yes, this is a temporary registration. I need to get the actual number plate fixed. Let me quickly go and do that and then I'll come back and answer all your other questions. Let's go. By the way guys, I'm not really sure if it's the same way in your states but here in AP and Telangana we get this you see that yellow color board uh, it's a temporary registration thing we need to get the bike registered and then we get the permanent plate which looks uh, white i think it's the same in all the states right i thought it's same everywhere else but now i have a doubt because someone in the comment section asked me why is my number plate yellow i mean obviously if it's a new bike you have a number plate which is yellow maybe you're thinking it's on rent come on guys Alright guys, uh, I'm on my way to get the number plate fixed and there is a specific time that I need to be there It's around 2 to 5 pm which is a very convenient time for everyone It's good for me because there will be no traffic And last night I posted this Instagram picture asking for questions You know, shoot your questions And man, oh man, you people are like crazy You people have posted literally 200 and 10 or 220 questions oh my god i never imagined in my wild dreams that you're gonna do that i thought max maybe chalo, 20 or 30 questions okay max 50 questions that's what i was thinking and within like in 20 minutes i got 50 questions <laughs> guys how am i gonna answer so many questions but really guys i appreciate your love so much I mean, seriously, man, I am really blessed to get so much love from you people. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for showering all that love. I hope you people understand I cannot answer all of these questions at once. So maybe I'll do a part one, part two, part three kind of a thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a few questions that have been asked multiple times by uh, many people. And also I'll pick questions that uh, will give answers to a broader audience than just the individual itself. So I hope you get the point right. But don't worry guys, I'm not going to skip any of the questions. Future may I'll make more and more Q&A sessions and uh, uh, maybe there I'll answer the questions that have not answered. Number plate is right side. Sir, fast is it? 14 and 14 lakhs, sir. My camera. And then, sir, Ram and Ram. Are the phone holder? Are yeah, those are the number plates. And uh, I've seen that uh, my number plate is there in that. So I'll have to wait for some time. It's coming in an order. When my turn comes, they'll call me and they'll get it fixed. Yeah, this number is gonna go. Alright guys, I got the number plate fixed and uh, right now I'm heading back home. Oh shit. I need to put the car a little bit to the left. Okay. Okay guys, let's uh, begin the Q&A session now. Let me answer all your questions. Not all, but right now let's start with the main comments. Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay, starting with the first question. When are you coming to Mumbai? I actually have plans to travel the whole country, guys. I've never visited Mumbai till date, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'll definitely visit Mumbai and there are a lot of other places in my mind. I will be riding to those places soon, so just hang on. Next, uh, okay, where do you work? What do you do for a living uh, other than YouTube? So many masks. That question, let it keep for the last because that is the most frequently asked question ever. How much do you earn from YouTube? See, I don't want to consider YouTube money till I reach a certain point, say 100,000 subscribers or maybe more. Currently, at this stage, uh, I'm close to 30,000 subscribers. So every video I post get almost 30,000 views or maybe sometimes more. For these many views, I can't stop other sources of income. If I'm at 100,000 subscribers and more and I'm getting like 100% engagement, uh, which means if I have 100,000 subscribers and I'm getting 100,000 views and I continue making videos like on a alternate day basis at least maybe then i can focus entirely on youtube and yeah actually depend on youtube but again you need to have 100 percent engagement keep that in mind how do you feel upgrading from 600 to 800 cc motorbike 600 to 800 cc it's not much of a difference uh, when you look at the cc but man this bike which i got right now the tiger is completely different the 600 i did not have usable torque it used to get its uh, power band only after 6000 rpm but i could not reach 6000 rpm most of the times because most of the time we ride in the city or even on highways you want to just cruise but man after 6000 rpm definitely it's a powerful bike but before that it is like a very lazy bike but on the other hand, the Tiger is a very powerful bike. Its torque starts right from 2000 RPM and uh, man, man, it's an amazing bike. No comparison at all. What is your favorite 300cc bike? Mm -hmm. Does my 220cc Charisma fall under this segment? It's only 80cc lesser than a 300cc. Do you think I can consider that? Hero Honda, please make a 300cc Charisma so that I can show my love towards it. <laughs> because still date, I do not like any other 300cc segment bike. Somehow I like the uh, Benelli 302R for its looks but once again it's a lazy bike so What is your dream bike? My dream bike would be the Panigale Super Leggera I even love the MV Agusta F4 and that's one amazing bike Where do you stay in Hyderabad? One more frequently asked question Okay guys I can't exactly tell you my address for obvious reasons but yeah I'll give you an approximate location I stay somewhere around a 2 km radius from the Maulali Coca-Cola factory who is your favorite Tollywood actor? <laughs> I like Alu Arjun a lot. Love marriage or arranged marriage? <laughs> Love marriage. Obviously, my wife is a North Indian. I used to work for Google before and we both met there. And uh, yeah, we fell in love. I used to report to her. She was my manager. <laughs> okay, talking about my love story and all that. It is very interesting, guys. I will definitely make a proper video about it. You will love it. If, in case you guys think I have to make a dedicated video about my love story, let me know in the comment section below. I'll probably pin that and if, you, if I get more number of likes on that comment, maybe I'll think about making a proper dedicated video about my love story. How do you stay so positive in your life? How do you get rid of negativity around you? I love this question. <laughs> How do you stay so positive in your life? How do you stay so positive? See guys, staying positive is nothing but absence of negativity, right? So I try to remove all the negativity around me. If I have some people talking negative shit, I try to stay away from them. Lucky for me, I don't have anyone around me who talk negative. If possible, do a Q&A video featuring your beautiful wife. <laughs> Pooja ji, aapki tarif. <laughs> I would love to do that, but she is a bit held up now, she's very busy, so for now, she's here. <laughs> Are you planning a long ride with your wife on the tiger? Definitely guys, my wife loves the tiger. She loved the Benelli also, but again, it was not comfortable. She used to like the way it sounded, the way uh, the bike looks, but she did not prefer sitting on the bike because it was not really comfortable for a pillion. But tiger, she is in love with that bike. So she will definitely come along with me in future. Let's hope. Share some tips to grow on YouTube. This is a very big uh, answer. I mean, I can't just cover this topic in a small answer. Maybe I'll do a separate video on this. So hang on. But one thing I'll tell you guys, you have to 
have a passion towards making videos all right you have to have a passion for holding a camera you know capturing things and then have the passion to edit all those videos only then you can sustain on youtube because youtube is all about videos and if you don't have a passion for making videos then i don't think you should start a youtube channel because if you're starting a channel for money don't you cannot do this if you don't love it you can't do it if you look at it like a job Anyways, I'll answer that in a proper separate video. I am your huge fan. Shout out my name in your upcoming video. Prince Diraj. <laughs> okay, which thing inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Uh, okay guys, this is one really interesting question. I'll also answer which thing inspired you to start a YouTube channel and also who inspired me to start making videos. Basically guys, I'll tell you a small story about this. When I was a kid, since my childhood days, whenever we went to marriages or some functions, my uncle and even my dad, they used to hand over me a camera. Because I used to love making videos, I used to love capturing things through a video camera. And that time it was a tape. So wherever I went, they used to give me a camera and I used to capture the entire function or the party or whatever it is. And the camera was a Panasonic, I don't remember exactly the model and all that, but it had all these options of editing in the camera itself. So I did all that stuff and after I presented the video at the end of the function, after one or two days, people love my video more than the professional short video. <laughs> so I had this thing of capturing beautiful videos and you know editing and all that later i wanted to start a youtube channel only for one reason all the credit all the credit today i will give it to only one person who inspired me to start my youtube channel that is casey neistat i know it sounds like any other youtuber but trust me guys i would never I mean you would never see this current channel that you're watching right now if it was not for Casey Neistat. He inspired me so much because I also love making videos and then I was thinking where do I put these videos and then I discovered Casey Neistat once and he was doing all this vlogging stuff and I've seen that there is an audience for this and I wanted to make videos like him. He was a proper filmmaker and a proper lifestyle vlogger but uh, you cannot start any random channel and start putting anything in it so you have to have a passion towards something right I had a passion towards motorcycles so when I blended Casey Neistat inspiration and my passion of motorcycling this is the result what do you like to eat the most very interesting question without any hesitation chocolates I don't care if you think I'm a child or a kid it doesn't matter I love eating sweets especially chocolates and my, it's, a, it's my bloody weakness guys. If you give me a chocolate box, I might even trade the tiger for you. <laughs> Just kidding. Give me a chocolate factory, I will trade the tiger. <laughs> Please make Telugu motor vlogs. Guys, this... Out of all the states in India, everyone understands either Hindi or English, but not Telugu, right? There might be at least a thousand subscribers from Mumbai, a thousand subscribers from Delhi, a thousand subscribers from Orissa. They might not understand Telugu. Tell me, 3,000 subscribers, for example, don't understand Telugu. From Hyderabad, maybe there are 5,000 subscribers, but again, it's only for those 5,000 subscribers. So please understand, guys, I can't make Telugu vlogs. Maybe in future, I'll try to make a vlog or two for, of course, for you people. But otherwise, please, I hope you guys understand that. Why don't you plan a subscriber meetup soon? Soon, yes, I'm going to do that because now it's high time. People are like asking me so much about this and just stay tuned for this update what was your top speed on the 600i uh, top speed i think i touched 220 kilometers an hour that's it which is the best 150cc bike under one lakh guys i have answered this before i don't know because i, I don't want to comment on bikes which i'm not ridden 150cc bikes i've never ridden a bike with a 150cc engine your opinion on the intruder 150cc no i don't like it you own such a big bike, the Tiger, but still you drive a uh, old accent. No upgrade on car, why? <laughs> Whenever I save a lot of money, my interest suddenly goes towards bikes. Somehow, these cars and all for me, it's just like a necessity for me, you know. I have a car which has good AC, good power steering, everything is nice, it's doing well. I don't need a very premium car and all that. If I have extra, extra, extra money, maybe I'll think about it, but... Otherwise, but it's high time. I think I have to change the car. It's like really old now. You give me more money tomorrow. Again, I'll be thinking about a bike. 
माइलेज ऑफ द टाइगर सिटी में अराउंड एटीन टू ट्वेंटी हाईवे पे ट्वेंटी फाइव टू ट्वेंटी सेवन सम पीपल हैव रिपोर्टेड ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी एट टू थर्टी ऑल्सो सो या Does your family support your riding passion? Definitely. My wife, my mom, my dad. My mom gets a bit worked up when I go on rides, like especially the long ones. But uh, now she's used to them and she understands the passion and all that. So, so now yeah, everyone supports me a lot. Uh, tell us something about your family, parents, siblings. In this house, we are four of us: uh, me, mom, dad, and my wife. Uh, I have a sister who is elder to me. She doesn't stay here. She's already married, so obviously they stay in Canada. And that is the reason you couldn't see my parents in the last few vlogs because they were there along with her. They they just came back like recently last week. So why don't you collaborate with other motor vloggers, guys? I don't think that's a good idea to collaborate with other YouTubers. I don't know. I don't prefer doing that because my audience subscribe to me because they like me. They appreciate my work, my editing style, my style of vlogging, and all that. But I'm not against it. But I don't prefer it. That's it. You know what, guys? I think I'll stop here. I've answered already like 15 to 20 questions. The other questions I'll definitely answer again in the upcoming videos because otherwise this video is going to be like really really long. But yes, I'll definitely answer that. main question of yours the most most frequently asked question what do i do for a living i breathe okay let's get serious actually guys i have a family business that i take care of right now my dad was not there for 6 months so i had to concentrate completely on that business what business i don't think i should reveal that because that is my family business and it becomes a breach of privacy and but yeah that's a business we have from almost like 20 25 years but yeah your main question what do i do for a living i take care of my family business and and also i do some freelancing work uh, you know contracts and all that with a few mncs not mncs but startups that's into digital marketing and all that so but yeah youtube money say i can buy a few gadgets like For example, this camera, or uh, also I can fund a few rides. You know, at least the fuel cost and all that go in it. So yeah, that's how I fuel my passion and fund my bikes and all that. But yeah, getting a bike like a Tiger or a Benelli 600 is a big deal. So how I plan that? That's a lot to do with my financial planning. This is not a one day or you know, this is not a one year plan. This is something that i have started doing you know i started saving from almost 7 or 8 years every month i had to invest in some place you know mutual funds and uh, some equity funds debt funds and all that and since 8 years uh, the profits were like amazing almost 25 to 30% and thanks to the power of compounding and all that in case you guys understand all that and then i swept away all my savings and bought these bikes that's it guys i'm not like super duper rich you can also do it guys it's not a big deal you right you need to have the right financial advisor and you have to have that basic financial discipline in you for example if you see my car it's a very old one i stop my urge to buy a new car that's how i save for the tiger okay guys that's it i think i'll end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed this q and a session future me i'm sorry if i couldn't answer other questions come on guys there are like 2 30 questions here also dm me there are another 30 to 40 questions so almost like 300 questions i hope you guys understand don't get offended i'll definitely answer all your questions in the upcoming videos i'll make another q and a session maybe in the next week and also guys i'll plan a meet up soon just stay tuned and i'll let you know when it's going to happen also i'll be a bit busy in the end of november because there's a wedding i have to attend i'll be going to kanpur for that in case anyone of you are from lucknow kanpur i'll let you know you can meet me when i'm there chill guys anyways i have to go quickly and attend something very important i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye